Hey guys, it's Amanda with My Life, My Way. I have not been online for about a week now and I really sincerely apologize to everybody that follows me on a regular basis and is looking for updates. Um, the basic update is that my husband came home and everything kind of fell off the rails when he came back. It looks like he may or may not be changing jobs or may or may not be changing up his schedule. So when he came home this week, we're actually not really sure how long it's going to be until he comes back, um, which is a little bit harder to deal with. So he was only home for seven days. Um, and I don't know if he's coming back in two weeks or if it'll be five or six before I see him again. We're not really positive. Um, so that kind of sucks. So we spend a lot of time together and a lot of time with family and going out with friends and that kind of stuff, catching up with people that we haven't caught up in a while. We may not be able to catch up with again for another little while. I'm shaking all over the place, guys. I'm sorry, freehanding this. Um, we did do Fumara this month. I did ovulate on the weekend, on the Easter weekend, I think on the Sunday, uh, Sunday night we figure which is pretty exciting. Um, and I guess we're on a two week wait now. We'll see how that goes. Uh, everything else is back on track though. The diet's back on track, the working out's back on track, me making videos is gonna be back on track. So um, Fit Fridays will drop back again on this Friday and I'll hopefully have something together for you guys for TTC Tuesdays next week as well. And little updates kind of here and there as we make it through the two week wait. Um, if he sticks to his regular rotation, he should be back um, right about as I hit 10 DPO. He actually ended up being left here for a few extra days. Um, so instead of the seven we thought we had, we actually ended up with nine, which was really nice because he made it for the ovulation, which shouldn't have happened. Uh, so that's really exciting. Um, but I think at about 10 DPO is when he should be making it home. So if it looks like he's going to stick to the regular schedule, I might wait and do a live pregnancy test at 10 DPO with him in the house um, and him awake this time. <laughs> Sorry guys, but last time around, um, where I did the test and he was sleeping and then I left you out of being able to watch him get a reaction out of it. So I guess we'll see. Um, I think I've even figured out a way to tell our parents when this works again. Hopefully it works this month because I don't think next month it's going to work for us for timing wise. Um, I'm teaching a class here for three weeks from Monday to Friday, the beginning of May. Um, so if I ovulate at any point in there, he probably won't be home and it won't work for us. So we may end up just skipping a month on the meds, which is kind of crappy, but that's the way it goes. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the update. Well, uh, I'll keep you guys posted as we kind of move through here. Thank you for, um, letting me off for a week. You know, nobody really giving me a hard time about just sort of like taking a vacation from YouTube all of a sudden. And, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Talk to you guys later. Bye.